Breaking news on HQ, the Patriots continue to spend money on this first day of legal tampering in NFL free agency. They've agreed to a deal with pass rusher Matt Judon, formerly of the Ravens. Jason Lockett for confirming that news for us. The contract, four years, 56 million, and just over 30 million of that is going to be guaranteed to Judon, who joins a list of other players to agree to terms, including Johnny Smith, the tight end, Devon Godchow, defensive tackle, and defensive back Jalen Mills for the extremely busy New England Patriots. All right, let's bring in our NFL insider, Jonathan Jones. JJ, uh, Bill Belichick wheeling and dealing right now. How about uh, Matt Judon coming over from the Ravens? It's a big get. Yeah, obviously needed some pass rush help there in New England, and they went out and got a guy when you know the tags were, were dealt. Uh, they decided and landed on Matt Judon, who uh, decided not to stick around in Baltimore and get paid with the New England Patriots. So it's a move that makes a lot of sense for both sides. And very interestingly enough, when you start looking at the players that the Patriots have signed today, uh, a Jonu Smith, a Jalen Mills, and now uh, a Matt Judon, they are absolutely signing names. There's, there's no question about it. But, you know, the, the interesting part for me with the Patriots is they they had the money like they had 60 million dollars in cap space and they've drafted poorly over the last several years and they just came off uh, their worst season in two decades so I know that folks are surprised because it's not the Patriot way to spend money uh, in the offseason and because they've had Tom Brady and they've had a dynasty for a while but this is what you're supposed to do if you don't have the young guys on your team if you've drafted poorly uh, and, and you need some help and you have the money to do it then this is what you do. So I, I understand that folks are a little bit taken aback because it's out of the norm for the Patriots. But really, when you consider what this offseason has been, when you look at the money that they have, when you look at the holes that they need to fill, two plus two equals four here. When you look at all the moves they've made, and I mean, it goes back to trading for Trent Brown, the offensive lineman. They re-signed Cam Newton, and now today with Johnny Smith, Devon Godshaw, Jalen Mills, Matt Judon. What have they done for the team at this moment how much better have they gotten over the last week well they, they've certainly gotten better at the tackle position if trent brown is healthy and finds his desire to stay in shape and, and play great football again so you, you got your left tackle there if joe tooney decides to come back then that would be fantastic there were reports out there that uh you know him coming back to the patriots is not yet dead in the water cam newton that's that's a very low risk deal for the New England Patriots. I'm not convinced that he'll even be on the week one roster. This is not a contract that should convince anyone that he is a surefired person to be on the week one roster. You continue moving down the list. Jonu Smith is a guy who offers you a, a blocker who is improving, not the greatest blocking tight end in NFL history, but sure-handed wide receiver, excuse me, tight end pass catcher uh, who who is very effective running with the ball after the catch. And then you have Jalen Mills, a guy who uh, can play both corner and safety. So you have some position flexibility there. Uh, so I, I like the moves that they've made. They have the money to make these moves. You know, you, you can't die with your money in the grave. If you're Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots, you should spend it right now. And that's what they're doing. Uh, and of course, they've got Dante Hightower and Patrick Chung, who are slated to come back after opting out this past season due to COVID. But I mean, th they've made so many moves recently here in free agency and official free agency begins on Wednesday. So all this is just agreeing to terms on deals. Uh, what more can they do this offseason? Quarterback. <laughs> they can go make a, make a run for Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, if, if the San Francisco 49ers wind up cutting him in pursuit uh, of a Deshaun Watson, for example, they could probably send a, a late second round pick up to New York for Sam Darnold if they believe in Sam Darnold. Mitch Trubisky is going to be available. Uh, I don't know if that's the guy that they want to go with. And then, you know, we know that they're picking around the middle part of the draft. If they want to take some capital and try to get up into the top six or so to get their quarterback of the future, I just, uh, it's hard for me to believe that they're going to go into training camp with Cam Newton, Jared Stidham there, uh, battling it out for the starting position. That's not what's going to happen uh, this offseason. All right, that's Jonathan Jones with us on HQ. A very busy day for Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots who are agreeing to terms with uh, 
a bunch of players. And it, it might be Bill Belichick's dog that's pulling the strings. The Patriots just tweeted this out. Of course, this was from back on draft night, the Zoom draft. When Bill Belichick got up. Dad took his uh, dog, took dad's chair, I guess. Uh, the New England Patriots feeling uh, much better about themselves after a, a bad, bad down season. Uh, we've got free agency coverage coming up on Football Happy Hour, 4 o'clock Eastern time today through Wednesday. And then Thursday at 3, we have our NFL free agency fantasy football today special. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.